Guess what? It's a holiday. And guess what holiday it is? The holiday that's coming up is called Easter. Because we're not going to be in school during the Easter week, we want to make this science project a memorable one. Guess what? Mr. Rodriguez went to Dollar Tree and got you some baskets. So some girls are going to get a little bit of a, like a sand bucket. But others, like the boys, will get these cute little baskets like these. Now, what are some of the things that you're going to get? Bubbles! Bubbles are so cool. You're also going to get finger paint. This is paint with your finger, not with a paintbrush. Lots of candy, but guess what? Ring pop! Woo! This is fun. And so those are the ones that you're going to be doing. Now, I do have lots and lots of Easter eggs, but this year I have seen a creativity that I have never seen before. One of them is that instead of Easter eggs, which are like these, you put candy in them, you put little toys in them, and that's what you're looking for the egg hunt to have. To find what is inside is so much fun. So this year, instead of just plastic Easter eggs, they made shells, doesn't that look cute? And cupcakes with sprinkles on it. So we're going to be working on that as we are in school. If you notice, here are some more baskets in different colors. But we want you to be ready for Easter. Now Easter is a holiday that is religious, that is celebrated around the world, and especially the Christian people celebrate it more than anybody else uh, because they believe that Jesus was crucified and that he died on the cross. So that's why it's Easter because it, he resurrects from the dead and that's how happiness comes into Easter. Some people don't like um, bunnies because it doesn't represent um, Jesus, which is true. They also don't like eggs because eggs are not representing Jesus. But when we do Easter, one of the things that comes to your head, if you're an old person like me, is that you dyed your eggs. Dying your eggs is the best thing in the whole white world. And to be very honest, there's nothing better than eggs in different colors. So, this is a science video. And this science video is something very simple that you can do at home. So, you're going to need a cup of water, right? You're going to put half a cup. I put a little bit more because my little my little uh, tablet was not uh, disintegrating very well. So I decided to put a little bit more. You're going to need half a cup of water and three tablespoons of white vinegar. It could be apple cider vinegar or red vinegar. It doesn't matter. The matter is that it's vinegar, okay? So, you're going to get a box when you get that at the store at Dollar Tree. This is what it looks like. I took everything out because the back you can puncture and put the eggs to dry here. This is where we're going to dry our eggs. But it also brings these little tablets. These are the little tablets of different colors that you can use to dye your eggs. Blue, green, purple, red, orange, yellow, uh, pink. All right? So those colors are available to you. One of the things that I grew up making Easter eggs was this little wire. And this wire helps for you to put the egg and put it in without moving around. So in order for you to dye your eggs, the eggs have to be white, not brown. They have to be white eggs, okay? That is one. Number two, you have to boil so they can be hard-boiled white eggs. 
They cannot be soft. Ok, voy a repetir eso en español para aquellos que no entienden nada de lo que yo dije hasta ahora. Bien. Cuando se va a pintar los huevos, tienen que ser blancos. Número uno. Número dos. Tienen que ser hervidos duro. Quiere decir que esto no debe estar crudo por dentro. Tiene que estar cocido o hervido en agua hasta que se pone duro. Cuando se pone el huevo duro, entonces lo puedes pintar. Now, going back to English, we are going to dye our egg. So, here is how it goes. You just sunk it in and you just hold it there for a while. All right? And it's going to take a color because if you see immediately, it's taking a color. You may not see it in the camera, but you can see it when it's in the water. So this color may be pink or it can go darker. So the longer you put it in there, the brighter the color is. The longer you put it there, the darker the color it could be as well. The less you put it, the lighter the color. So this might turn into pink because I already see some speckles of pink. All right. Is this okay to do? Yes. Now, I wouldn't do it on a glass cup. I would use it in plastic just to be safe with it. But I didn't have a plastic cup. I don't have them here. And then you wouldn't be able to see what it looks like inside if I did it in a video with another kind of cup. <clears throat> Excuse me. In science, this is called chemistry. What, Miss Ready? Yes, it's called chemistry. Oh, como le dicen en español, química. You have to take water. You have to make the water warm. Right? You have to put it in here. And then you have to put a solution that mixes with it, which is vinegar. Once you put three tablespoons of vinegar, right? You are going <coughs> to take out one of the tablets, whichever one you want, and you're going to put it in first. Because this is a tablet. This is very, very hard. These are not very easy to melt. Now, <coughs> that being said, this is something that may take one day or it can take two days. It all depends. So, this is what I'm going to paint. And I chose this color, which I'm hoping it will be what I think it looks like, which is, which is, mm -hmm, pink. Now, maybe from the way that the camera is showing it, you may not see it. But if you do submerge it into the water, or the solution in this case, that's chemistry. Okay, because now the eggshell will turn from white to pink. That is only done in chemistry. Okay, chemistry does mix solutions and mix many of the periodic table. Okay, one of them is water, H2O. Now, if I wanted to make it even better, I would put salt in it. I didn't want to put salt this time because I said, well, why put salt when you can just put the vinegar? Because I've done this many years. And the year that I used it with vinegar, it worked better than any any time else. So, while you're waiting here, you get to decorate your your basket, 
you get to look and see what is it that you want to put in there. And my advice would be to put grass. You should put grass in your basket because the grass is going to keep the candy and the eggs still. It's like a nest. Okay? When you go out on an egg hunt, you are going to be looking for eggs anywhere around the place you're going to be. That's one. And number two, you will get a chance to get some prizes. And three, you get to open at home your eggs and find those candies that everybody loves about spring. Okay, it's a celebration. Now, let's pull it out. You see that it's turning more pink? Yes, it is. It is turning more pink. The thing is that the sun is also beaming on this side of the, of the window, and so I can see the pink, but you can't see the pink the way I want you to see it. And that's pretty cool. Now, I do have another, another egg here, but I'm going to just hold on to that egg because what I've been thinking of as I'm doing this is that probably I'll do a second video of this chemistry, and I'll make sure that this one is completely died the way I want it to be and then I can do another video where this one is already dry and we can add some gold or something like that to it and that would be awesome so this is just the beginning of Easter you might want to think about what colors can I can I choose Who's going to help me at home? Because you're going to need somebody to help you with the egg being boiled and cooled off because you can't put it in hot. And somebody who can mix water with vinegar and put the tablet in here. If you want it to work a little quicker, then you can put some salt. Now, you are going to do this at home. You're not going to do this in the classroom because all of you are not in person. Okay, if you were in person, then I wouldn't be making this video. But I'm making this video for those of you who are virtual. That means I care about you and I want to make sure that you have fun. Last year at this time, we didn't have Easter. We had Easter um, in April. And what I discovered was that we never got to celebrate Easter as it should have been. So, I decided this year, we're going to celebrate it, okay? And there is your pink egg, okay? You can put it for a longer time, and I'm pretty sure it's going to get darker, all right? So, dry the egg. We'll do a second video so you can see one that's being processed and one that's done and how it looks like in your basket. Each one of you that are in my class are going to get an Easter basket. You're going to get some candy. You're going to get some bubbles and some finger paint. Don't worry. Candy is not going to run away and hide. It's going to be there for a long, 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 long time. So, be happy. Remember, smart is not something you are. Smart is something you get.